take us to the next deep dive, my friend? Yes. So I'm going to do a little dive into my charging choices, um, Chi and otherwise. Okay. So, uh, let's go to the video. Ah, and there we are. Okay. Um, the first one here, uh, and you can see I purchased it in 2018. Uh, when I got my iPhone 8, which supports Qi, yep. I was like, um, yeah, the phone didn't come with a Qi charger. And I was looking for one uh, budget, and this is one that came to my attention. Um, so I picked one up. Um, it's uh, the Samsung Qi certified wireless charging pad with two amp wall charger. Um, and it performs as advertised, works fine. Um, has a little, um, a little ring on it that um, will be one color. It'll be blue when it's charging and it'll go green when your device is fully charged. So that's sure. kind of nice. Sure. Um, and now let's move along here. Um, yes, sir. I'm going to go to the next one here. Great. So, um, when I look at the page on Amazon, they're like, oh, there's a newer model of this item. I'm like, okay. Um, and this is the Samsung Qi certified fast charge wireless charger pad 2019 edition with cooling fan. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Um That's actually really smart. I've because my Qi devices are always hot when I pick mm -hmm. them up off the charger. Oh. That will that will because I've had my devices stop charging. I got to uh, get one of these. Right. Interesting. Okay, yeah, go on. Sorry. Okay. So um so we got those two here. Um Let's go to the next one. Let's see. Uh, all right. Copy URL. Paste that in here. So when I got my MacBook Pro, um, it comes with a, I believe it's a 85 watt charger. Okay. Okay. That's kind of nice, but sure. I wanted, I wanted more. Okay. Um, and what I found, what is going on here? It's not showing. Why is it not showing? All right. But anyways, Just tell us about it. So it's, it's fine. The, it's the yeah. Anchor PowerPort Atom PD4. Um, and this one got the juice, man. It, it can provide up to 100 watts of charging power. Okay. Um, it has two... USB A ports and two USB C ports. Nice. So you can charge up to four devices. So and, and will each of those USB C ports provide a hundred watts of power if that's the only thing connected to that port? If that's the only thing connected there to the device? Uh, I believe if you have two devices, then I think it splits it 50 50. Right. But if you only have one, it, it'll give a single device 100 watts as, if the device up, requests up to, that. Yeah, yes. if, if, up to. Okay. Yeah, and it's probably not 100 because I think the chief standard falls just shy of that, right? Mm -hmm. It's like 98 or something like that. But yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So um, it's 100 bucks. You know, it's a little pricey, but, um, you know, it does what I need. And I, I got two of them. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, those are those would be nice to have. Probably too big to travel with, but nice to have. Cause I've got one of those too, and it sits in the living room and, and sort oh, of becomes right. the charging station, uh, for the living room. So, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a bit weighty, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could still put it in your computer bag, but, um, you know, there are other options that we'll talk Correct. about in a moment here. So next, this is a device. Uh, so I remember I saw these guys at, um, yeah, go away ad. No, I don't want notifications. <laughs> How annoying. Okay. So um, Luma Charge is a company that I ran into at CES a um, uh, couple of years ago. And I think that this is uh, quite a unique device here. It's, they call it the universal phone dock with fast wireless charging. 
So okay. it does chi, but then it also has, uh, and you can, uh, well, you can't, <laughs> if you're looking at the video, you can see it. And then it has a little dial on it. What is that for, you may ask? Um, uh, it provides, let's see here, uh, the one I have. Yeah, so it provides a lightning port, a um, a micro USB port, and uh, I believe a USB-C. So, so that's, that's for if you don't have Qi, mm. it, it will it will actually charge via a wired connection and you get to pick which one pops out of it. Is that right? Yes. Great. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Huh? Yeah. And so I, yeah, and I use this regularly. So, uh, so yeah, uh, 50 bucks, which, uh, I think, uh, for what it does is, uh, is pretty good. Cool. Um, okay. Next we're gonna, we're gonna get, uh, current device that I have in my car. Okay. Uh, for charging things. Um, it's the Anchor Roav Smart Charge F2 Bluetooth FM transmitter. Wireless audio adapter and receiver. Car charger with Bluetooth car locator app support with two USB ports. Um, and you can do all sorts of things. I mean, the, the, the number of things it does is pretty impressive. So um, so the one that I have has uh, two ports. They're, you know, smart. You know, they'll um, charge as fast as, uh, as your device will, uh, will sure. be willing to accept. Uh, but some of the other things it does, so it has, there, there's an iOS app. Um, but some of the other neat things that it does, so... Uh, it's an FM transmitter, so I can send audio. So I, I wouldn't say it's it's you know car play, eh, maybe kind of. But sure. anyways, so I can stream using Bluetooth from my phone to this, and then my radio in the car, um, and you, you tell it what frequency you want. So I pick you know an unoccupied channel, which is kind of a challenge in the metro area. I think I have it at like 87 uh, megahertz or something like that. Um, but you can stream music from your phone to this device and it comes through your car radio. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. So this is for people that don't have Bluetooth in their car or, right. or, or CarPlay, of course. Um, mm -hmm. But th if your car doesn't have Bluetooth or, or CarPlay, Mm -hmm. um then then that's this device but you have a there's a newer version of this right that you've got on your list um so, uh, but, but some of the other features so in the app here's another thing um which is is pretty cool um it'll tell you the status of your car's battery so it shows oh, the voltage right because it's it's plugged into your car oh that's pretty cool i like that that's smart man yeah, and it actually comes up. So normally batteries in cars are about 12 volts. Yep. Um, mine actually comes in a little higher. Uh, I got a new car battery a couple of years ago, but it actually comes up to like 14 volts. So that's nice. Is it is that when the car is running versus when the car is not yes. running? Okay, yes. that makes sense. Yeah, so you're seeing power from the alternator more likely than just right. from the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. If it's just sitting there, it'll it'll show a lower voltage. So, but I think the new one is the one to recommend to people because it's the same price. It's twenty five fifty for the new one, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and that's basically all the same functionality except you get uh, a USB C port and a USB A port, right? Correct. Yeah, and um, it's got noise canceling on the Bluetooth mic. Yes, and another thing you can do with this is you can make a phone call <laughs> right right and I, I tried this the other day so it has you know a little little uh, button on it um for making a phone call so you can also make a phone call with it and let me see with the last feature um oh yeah it has a, a bluetooth locator so if you're running the app and you leave your car it will mark where it is and then show you where it is on a map in case you're 
forgetful and forgot where you parked your car. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So very cool. Kind of like an air tag. And yeah, so yeah, as you pointed out, there's a, a link to the newer version that uh, as far as I can tell, the difference is that it has USB C and USB A, whereas the, the, the one that I have has two USB A ports and noise cancellation with the microphone uh, and Bluetooth yes. five. So yeah, this, in fact, this one's 50 cents less ex- or 40 cents less expensive than the, than the older one. So I would definitely go mm. get the newer one. Yeah. 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 All right. Moving on. Keep, right. keep, keep moving here. We're 10 minutes into this segment just to, uh, to give you a, a, a thing. So let's 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 i know you and i said we were trying to do 10 minute segments let's mm-hmm. see if we can do 15 minute segments okay <laughs> all right next we don't um, know what we're doing here we're making like, like i said we're making this up so there you go <laughs> yeah um okay so this as you can see i got this in 2018 i wanted to uh i wanted to get a a, a mount um a chi mount uh in my car Okay. And I chose this one and it does exactly as advertised. Um, the iAudi Easy One Touch Wireless Chi Fast Charge Car Mount Kit. iAudi makes good stuff for the car, man. I've had mm-hmm. good experience. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, so it's very flexible. Um, you know, it has an adjustable mount for various phones. You can see your, well, if you look at it the, and then w- when you put the phone in you can see there's a little button there once you put it in in the mount um it'll start charging and there's a green led on it and that's pretty much it for this and then they have a um and they had a, a slightly newer version so that we're gonna we'll link to okay um but always f- buy the newer version folks yeah 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 um but yeah 40 bucks cool so that's great um all right next here so uh let's talk about battery packs dave okay um so i like this one here so there's two that i like so this one um uh our friends at my charge um provided um, but it's the My Charge wireless charger, portable charger, power bank, dual USB, 10 watts, 2.4 amps, 10,000 milliamp hour battery. So that's that's pretty pretty hefty. Um, it has two USB A ports and a micro USB that I think you use to uh, charge it. But here's the interesting thing: so it's a Qi charger. Well, you can charge either using the USB ports. Or it's a Qi charger, but so you can put the phone on top and it'll it'll charge your phone, but it also can receive a charge from another Qi charger. Check that out. Uh, oh, okay. So it can be passed through Qi. Exactly. You, you can you can lose all kinds of power to heat if you try with this scenario. You could charge mm-hmm. it from another mm-hmm. one. You could stack four of them and uh, and 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 heat the air. Okay, mm-hmm. that's cool though. I mean, it, well, super handy if you've got like a bedside charger with Qi. You put this thing on it. You put your phone on it. You wake up in the morning. Everything's charged up. You take it. You're ready to go. I like it. That's mm-hmm. good. All right, uh, we got time for like two more things at this pace, maybe. All right. Um, all right. Let's look here. Um, all right, and this is one I forgot how I learned about it, but let me copy okay. the link URL here. So this is another. Um, Qi power bank. It's a similar functionality, but it's a, I think a little less expensive than the one um, I just mentioned. But the Jarve PPS Wireless Exec Power Delivery 10,000 milliamp hour power bank with 10 watt wireless charging and Type C 18 watt power delivery. And uh, it's 50 bucks. And cool. I use this um, on occasion as well to uh, charge my phone. Cool. Uh, let's see. And I, right. I would say skip the next one because you you yes. focus mostly on phones. And so let's stick with phones on this for your last one. And then in a future episode, we will do a dive into chargers for our Macs because there's a lot to talk about there. Okay. Um, 
All right, where are we? All right, the, the all right, the last one I'll mention here, um, and I think you have this one as well, Dave. Um, all right, so copy the URL, but I like this little ditty um, from Ventev. Um, it's a, a T charger. Uh, what's nice about it is that you can move the um, charging element up and down, and you can also change the orientation. Um, and the other thing I like about it, and actually my phone is sitting in it right now, um, we've talked about this before, uh, the LED will blink a couple of times when it's charging, and then it'll turn off. Right. Which, uh, especially at night, you know, having a big you know, bright blue LED is kind of annoying. So <laughs> yeah. I like the, I like the design of this. No, that's, the, that's my favorite one to have next to my bed for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That's good. It's good. Cool. I like that. This is good. I, I didn't know about this Jarve company. So yeah, I like it. Good stuff, man.